Hello, all the upcoming MSc Food Science and Technology students. I know I mentioned you all with a different introduction today because uh, after all this preparation, I wish and I believe that you all will be at some good place doing MSc in uh, any of the food science and technology subjects because in different universities, different courses are there, different names are there, but everyone is teaching food science only. So uh, coming on to the straight away to the topic of today's video, we are at the part 12th of the previous year question series of your SCQP 12, where we discuss the questions which were asked in 2022 and 2023. We have covered all the questions of 2022 and we have posted two videos of 2023 paper and this is the third video in your 2023 section. So coming straight away to the question, which of the following are the functions of fat for making biscuits and cookies? So ideally why we are talking about fat because it acts as a shortening. So that means leavening Yes, fat acts as a leavening agent when we are uh, using it for biscuit and cookies because when we are whipping it, we are incorporating air inside it. Then as a shortening agent, yes, fat acts as a shortening agent. Binding agent, some people will say that fat acts as a binding agent but not because fat never acts as a binding agent because it is not having that ability. Only water and its uh, gluten formation can act as a binding agent. So binding agent property will not be uh, contributed by fat. Then talking about the palatability, yes, it is acting in this domain. Why? Because it makes the biscuits and cookies more tender, more soft and more chewable. Then chelating agent, no, not at all. So A, B and D, that means your fourth is the right answer for this question. Then coming on to the next, we have red color crumb of the dark bread is caused by geotrichum or antricum. Yes, it is right. You must remember the name of microorganisms and also the spellings because they can be very important. Then watery soft rot is due to bacillus lichen formis. No, not at all. It is uh, not because of that. So uh, first is right and second is false. That means your third is the right answer for this question. And we are discussing questions from 2023 paper. Then coming on to next, we have Assertion and reason based questions. So in these type of questions, first of all, a statement will be given and in next statement, its reason will be given. So why is that particular assertion being done? And you have to tell whether they are true, whether they are false or whether it is explaining it correctly or not. So the assertion is during corn milling, complete germ removal is important. Yes, it is true. Then germ in corn contains high percentage of fat, which will reduce its shelf life because it will make it oxidizable. That means it will uh, make it more prone to uh, your oxidative changes because of presence of high amount of fat. So it explains it correctly. So that means both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of A. Then coming on to the next question we have to obtain tender pie crust. What proportion of flour, fat and water should be used from the following. So when we were discussing in bakery technology at that time, I told you about the tender pie crust. So ideally six is to two is to one is the particular ratio in which it is used. So why are these ratios so prominent? Because no one can be a master in your baking because it requires experience and it is a type of art. But you can obviously follow a standard recipe and for that standard recipe, you need specific amount of ingredient. But what happens is everyone is having some different um, uh, quantity of ingredients. So it's better to give a ratio. That means if in case you are having 100 grams of flour or if in case you are having 600 grams of flour, flour for that 200 grams of fat and 100 grams of water will be required. So ideally ratio works in this way. Then we have next question. What term radiolization is used? The term radiolization is used for what kind of treatment by the use of radiation. So particularly it is from your irradiation topic and I very well explain how irradiation works in the class. So radiolization is directly related to pasteurization because it is working in same way and pasteurization is a normal mild heat treatment which is usually focused to uh, eradicate the spoilage causing organisms and in same way radiolization also works. It is working in somewhat range of one kilo gray and even less than that, but it is not above uh, beyond that. So uh, the action of radiolization is somewhat similar to pasteurization only. So it is the right answer for this question. That means second is the right answer for this question. Then identify the functions of packaging. That means what are the particular functions which are packaging material 
performs containment yes if you have a packaging then obviously it will be containing the product then machinability that means it will help uh, to produce the product in a long run uh, sorry in fast production rate so machinability is very important because uh, just as of your chips packet are available in the market you cannot seal them by the hands and you cannot achieve that much fast speed if you are not using a machine so packaging material also helps in machinability then protection obviously because packaging material ideal role is to protect it from the external environment then convenience why you all are able to uh, eat chips every like uh, in it's it's very common to eat the chips or it is very common to drink a bottle of coke because it is adding convenience to our life what will happen if i give you the packet of chips on a piece of tissue paper because that will not be convenient to uh, take it everywhere but a packet of chips is obviously convenient to take everywhere value addition not in that sense because packaging metal will not add that much value to a product because the food itself has the values for being for which it is being sold in the market so a b c and d are the right answers for this question that means fourth is the right answer for this question then we have which of the following is the prime application of conveyor dryer that means some type of conveyor belt will be there and i told you in the class how the conveyor belt action occurs so foam mat drying is the right answer for this question because foam mat drying is uh, your the in the application of foam mat drying your conveyor dryer is only used that means your belt type of dryer other are not at all related to this then talking about to next we have which of the following has been recognized as a non permitted color by fssai so rhodamine is the non permitted color by your fssai rest all are permitted anato is used in your butter and tarzanin and indigo carmine is also used but rhodamine is toxic and it is not coming under grs category that is your generally recognized as safe so uh, be aware about that rhodamine is not permitted color so here we come to the end of our video and that was the part 12 in which we discussed some eight questions from our 2023 paper so stay connected with us we'll be soon posting the part 13 and uh, uh, all the best for your exam and keep preparing for the exam and apart from your preparation if in case you are feeling difficulty in covering any topic or you want a better explanation of any topic we will be very happy to clarify all your doubts and if in case you are not able to uh, get the questions which were explained in this video you can comment down your queries we'll also clarify your doubts there so that was all for today's video we'll meet in part 13 so all the best for your exam